Hi everyone, I'm Irma and in this video I'll introduce to you the Visual Composer Pop-Up Builder Editor. Visual Composer allows you to create fully customized, unique and beautiful pop-ups for your website. You can create pop-ups for GDPR notices, newsletter subscriptions, promotions, exit intents and, quite frankly, anything you want. And the best part is, is that you can do it using the handy Visual Composer Editor. So without further ado, let me show you the pop-up builder editor. First, you'll have to download the pop-up builder and you can do that from the Visual Composer hub that you can access from the front-end editor. So let's open the hub. And here under add-on section is the pop-up builder. Now download. When that's done, the pop-up builder editor option will appear under the Visual Composer menu. So let's go back to the dashboard. And here it is. So to create a pop-up, simply click on add new. Give the pop-up a name and we're in the editor. As you can see, it's the exact same editor you've been working with. So you can create your pop-up with all elements and features of Visual Composer. I've already created a little design to demonstrate. As you can see, it's a simple exit intent pop-up. What's different from the regular front-end editor is that here you can see the pop-up container and some pop-up specific settings. So let me walk you through them. Click on edit and we're in. So the main thing to notice here are the URL that you can give to the whole pop-up. Then there's the width of the pop-up that you can specify in pixels and percentages. Then of course, the position on the page. You can be right in the middle, on the side, wherever you wish. Another important parameter is the overlay background. You can give it any color and make it as opaque as you want. If we move further, here you can customize the close icon. By default, it's here on the right corner, but it can also be outside of the pop-up and at the corner of the browser. And of course, you can change color, shape and size too. Last but definitely not least, the trusted design options, where you can adjust the margins, paddings and uh, the background image and so on. The rest, you already know. Add any elements to the container, like I've got a text block here, a place to write down an email and a button. You could of course make it as complex as you wish. Now that you've got the design part down, you can move on to thinking about where the pop-up's going to be on your site. Where it's going to be displayed? Is it going to be a site-wide pop-up or will it show up on a specific page? To learn how to implement the beautiful pop-ups you've made on your site, make sure to check out the next video about pop-up triggers. But for now, that's it. So thank you all for watching and enjoy.